It's been really cold here in South Florida. I'm talking about 60s during the days and 50s at night. I'm seeing any iguana activity. But we're over here by the beach. Check it out, check it out. And we're gonna go see if we can see any iguanas. Now is the sunniest part of the day. So if we're lucky, we will see some basking in the sun trying to raise up their body temperature. As, uh, but keep in mind guys, it is still pretty cold out here, so the chances are slim to none. We are at the beach, but I don't see any sign of any iguanas. One thing I love about Florida guys, no matter what season, no matter what time of year it is, we always have a piece of paradise whenever you come out here to the beach. Look how beautiful. Ooh, nothing like a good ice bath after, you know, hitting the gym the last couple of days, going hard. So that water, man, basically what it does is helps shock your muscles and, uh, you know what I'm saying, it helps you heal. It makes you feel a lot better. Like right now I feel nice and loose and I'm ready to go catch some iguanas. All right guys, so we are gonna pull up to one of our first spots for the day. Everybody already knows where this is at. This is George English Park, located in South Florida. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just see if we can see any kind of iguana activity. And you know, just uh, kind of, you know, study the iguanas and see what they're doing. In the corner of my eyes, I see these birds right here and they actually look like they're pretty cold. Now, I know that the iguanas live in these trees and we have some bread right here, so maybe I can entice a couple and see if they want to come. Oh, see if they want to come out of their nest and say hi. If you guys know what kind of birds these are, let me know in the comments below. I think they are called spoonbills, or they're like some kind of cousin of the flamingo. If you guys want to see me do a catch and cook on one of these? Let me know in the comments section below. It's gonna be crazy. The iguana man is crazy. I will catch and cook one of those flamingos. Yeah, so we are over here at George English Park and there's this really awesome kayak place. It's called Blue Moon Kayaks. And guys, if you guys ever wanted to, you know, go kayaking or adventure with family and friends, I would advise you guys do this, man. Look, they have a map laid out. They have all this good stuff. They have one person, two people kayaks. And believe it or not, the rates are actually really affordable. It's like $25 for like almost two hours of kayaking fun into this lagoon right here and you guys get to go in the beautiful sunrise by the ocean where you guys get to see beautiful houses you get to see boats there's trees there's a whole bunch of really nice stuff here and uh yeah there's also iguanas and also there's no big boats that pass through here there's no like drawbridge so it's really really safe and uh, yeah if you guys want to check them out uh you know come to george english park look check it out is right over here super friendly staff and they have really cool kayaks man uh when the weather gets better we're actually going to go on a kayak adventure with them so you guys stay tuned you seen some today okay i'm doing i'm doing i'm doing a documentary like where do the iguanas go when it gets cold you know oh dude i caught one last night it was like an iguana popsicle i wrapped him up in a towel and i set him over on the side of my yard and then this morning so you caught a fro uh, iguana got frozen and you you you, you saved them basically. Yeah. Well, I mean they'll come back to life. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, I seen something on the news where iguanas were like freezing. Yeah, they, it's they call it like an iguana popsicle. Um, once it gets so cold at night, they kind of like go to like a dormant stage, and they'll just like freeze up and kind of hold everything as a reserve. And then once it warms up, then they and they spring back to life. Yes. Yeah. It's cool. pretty neat. That's awesome. Um, That's awesome. Let me see. Oh, there goes yeah, one right there. there. Holy smokes. Yeah, they're everywhere. I wonder where the iguanas go when it gets cold. Where do you think? They probably just hide in trees, stay in foliage. Because, I mean, they're not really, they can't, I mean, what about, they have I, no defense, really, so they I got heard, camouflage. I heard, they, uh, I heard they make holes. You yeah, they'll burrow themselves. There are some holes along the edge here. Yeah? Yep. Okay. There's a decent-sized one up by that tree. Yeah, they're, they're everywhere. Oh, so you warmed then up? they'll be up in the trees, too. They'll be up top in there. Yeah, like yeah, they'll be, yeah. So when you warmed him up, he just uh, he just came back to life and he just yeah. went back in the wild? Yeah. Nice. 
check this guy out. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's the first iguana I've seen all day. Check him out. His back legs are just spread out. Yep, they're just laying just out, sunning themselves. He's just yeah, <laughs> soaking it in. Yeah. Okay. And they cool. can start, you know, processing their food and all that. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, they're everywhere. Sweet, sweet. We're gonna have some merch coming real soon, guys. Make sure you guys be on the lookout for that iguana man merchandise. Would you look at that? I think I see one right over there, buddy. We're gonna go and see if we can swipe them real quick. Grab them. I got them. <laughs> This is our first cold water. This is our first cold weather iguana right here. Let's check him out. Beautiful green, male, um, juvenile. He's basically now hitting puberty and maturing into a alpha. Well, he's trying to at least. You guys can see the beautiful colors that he has. He's kind of on the skinny side. I don't know if he, because mind you guys, that these things have been, I think, hibernating for the last week at least. So he's actually kind of really thin right now. I think he was trying to warm up his body. But real quick, I want to show you guys something real quick. He actually has some kind of like bullet wound, it looks like. Some kind of wound right there. It kind of looks like a bullet wound. But uh, he's probably been shot at from what that looks like. This is not a bad specimen to start the day off. And as you guys seen, he didn't even really try to run away because, like I said, man, today's the first warm day. So that's a good sign. We got our first iguana. Let's see if we can get another one. Guys, we actually have an iguana in the water looking at us. I don't know how this is even possible, remotely possible, but we're gonna try to catch him. We got him. Get it. Think we got to run. Take him out. Take him out fast. Take him out fast. We got him. We got him. Yeah, but he doesn't drown. Oh shoot! Right. Dude, what the heck, man? That thing was like an alligator, just basically poking his head out, looking at us, dog. You ever seen anything like that before? Nah, man. That That's shit was crazy, creepy as fuck. Bro. You seen that? Guys, look at this iguana right here. This guy. Wow. Oh, here, let's, let's get some light on him. Check him out, guys. Bright green, and he's got these beautiful red spikes right here. Wow. Kind of got a white head. But these iguanas are kind of ballsy today, man. I mean, he was in the water looking at us just like an alligator would. Like, that's just ridiculous. Yo, look at that big old iguana over there, bro, sunbathing. Dang, that thing is a beast. All right, guys, so we're over here along this riverbank. And real quick, there appears to be a giant alpha iguana right there. He was just sunbathing. He just got wind that we're in the area. What he's doing right now, he's kind of staying low to the ground, trying to camouflage like a rock. But what he doesn't know is we have a 10 foot pole with an iguana snare equipped at the end of this. We're gonna go close to him and see if we can finesse him. Oh, something dead, bro. Oh, smack, funeral home. Oh, shit. What the heck? No, I literally just got a whiff of something dead, bro. All right, guys. Like I said, man, remember the Iguana Man merch will be available. You guys stay tuned for that. And you guys can be really smart. Here. I'm actually going to take my shoes off. He's gone. Just like that, guys. He jumped. It's okay. Iguanas is just like life, man. You win some, you lose some. But uh, at the end of the day, you got to charge it to the game. But uh, on to the next. Creepiest thing ever. Check it out. Funeral home. Looks like the funeral guy dude might live in there. Can't really see it, but he has a couch and stuff in there. It's like the back hut of the funeral home. Dude, that's weird, I don't bro. know if you can see it. He has couches and stuff. That's weird, bro. Almost if he stays there. How freaking weird is that, bro? Keep going, keep going. How freaking weird is that, bro? What if he lives in there and he does his funeral stuff, his cremations in there? Just imagine, like, I mean, that's just creepy, bro. Personally, I would not live in there. That's just, wow. No. But uh, you know, who am I to judge? But yeah, guys, you guys are seeing the situation out here with the iguanas. They're here. They're just very, very skittish. So we're going to have to just keep waiting for the weather to get better. 
Uh, until next time, guys, this is the Iguana Man. Gordo Loke signing out, guys. We love y'all. Very long time. And uh, just keep catching.